On 30th June 2017, Astro Boy, a 9-year-old male miniature schnauzer, is presented to Toapayo vets with trembling hind legs. The vet also noticed weakness and ataxia, which is in coordination in movement in this dog. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Toapayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. On 24th of April 2016, Astro Boy came in with right hind limb limping. On 23rd June, less lameness was observed after urinary stones removal. On 30th June 2017, Astro Boy was presented with trembling hind limbs and weakness. Let's have a look at the x-ray. From the x-ray, we can see bladder stones. There are also presence of bone spurs in L6 and L7 vertebrae. There are also reduced disc space between L5, L6 and L7 vertebrae. As compared to 11 months ago, the intervertebral disc space between L5 and L6 is much reduced now. There are also more bone spurs compared to 11 months ago. So, Astro Boy was diagnosed with intervertebral disc disease and recurrent urinary bladder stones, both which could cause trembling legs due to pain. So, what is intervertebral disc disease? It is the degeneration and herniation of the intervertebral disc, causing compression of the spinal cord or spinal nerve. The spine consists of the spinal cord, spinal nerve, vertebral body, and intervertebral disc which is a cartilage cushion between two vertebrae. In intervertebral disc disease, there will be bone spurs, reduced disc space, and spinal cord compression. This leads to pain and weakness of the hind legs. So what are bone spurs? Bone spurs are bony projections that usually forms along a bone at a joint. What causes reduced disc space? As the intervertebral discs wear down or degenerate, they shrink, causing reduction in the normal space between the vertebrae. How do we treat or manage this case? Intervertebral disc disease can be treated by surgical approach. However, there is higher risk in old age patients, it can be costly, we might lack of expertise, full recovery is not guaranteed, and the clinical science in Astro Boy is not severe to warrant surgery. So conservative treatment is preferred in Astro Boy. We can provide painkillers and ensure Astro Boy has sufficient cash rest to reduce the pain. We should also prevent him from being overweight by controlling the diet. Other than x-ray, blood test was also done. From the low red cell count and hematocrit or PCV reading, we know that Astro Boy is having mild anemia. This is because of the inflammation caused by the intervertebral disc disease. The triglyceride levels are also elevated, probably due to high caloric intake from the diet. Since the x-ray also shows bladder stones, a urinalysis was also performed. From the urinalysis result, the presence of blood and high amount of red blood cells in the urine could indicate bleeding of the urinary tract due to the bladder stones or cystitis. Whereas the presence of bacteria, nitrite, along with high amounts of white blood cells in the urine indicate bacterial infection of the urinary tract or bladder. Not all urinary stones require surgical approach. Since the bladder stones in the x-ray are small, urohydropropulsion, which is filling the bladder with sterile saline and compressing the bladder to allow removal of small stones and sands through the urethra, can be done. Owners need to be educated that good dietary management is required to control and prevent the risk of having stones such as calcium oxalate and struvite. Urinalysis and x-ray every 6 to 12 months is required to detect recurrent stones when small to permit their easy removal without any surgery.